Well, the recent story of a Michiana man made national headlines when he left his entire multi-million dollar fortune to one local group. David Gunlock left about $150 million to the Elkhart County Community Foundation when he died back in 2011. In less than an hour, his rare art and his furniture collection will be auctioned off with all of the proceeds benefiting local charities. WSBT's Darla Hernandez previews that auction for us tonight. Tonight, more than 200 guests are expected to fill the ballroom here at the Lerner Theater in Elkhart, all for a purpose, to help Elkhart County. David's gift was a gift to the community. The community will be able to take home one of his precious gifts. 27 of David Gunlack's personal art collection and furniture will be auctioned off to the highest bidder, but with a twist. Those that bid most successfully for the art to name the charity of their choice. So in some respects, we're hoping that a little bit of uh, competitive interest and, and passion for our various charities will accelerate the auction. Craig Gibson with Premier Arts, which is co-hosting the gala, hopes it becomes an annual event with rotating artists with the ultimate goal to transform the area. Really trying to create a community here that supports the arts overall and supports the artist and a really kind of a cool place for artists to come and to want to come and to want to live and want to create their art and their life here in Elkhart County. The Elkhart Community Foundation, which received about $150 million from David Gunlack's estate, will use the proceeds from the auction to continue investing in Elkhart County's future. Everything from, from kids' programs to our interest in senior citizens and our environment and arts and culture, uh, recreation. Now the Elkhart Community Foundation is keeping a significant portion of the art in hopes to display it in the future. They have with their collection of Picasso, a Renoir, and even a Salvador Dali. Reporting in Elkhart, Darla Hernandez, WSBT, Channel 22 News. The Elkhart Community Foundation says one more way Gunlock's legacy will live on is through the priceless art they kept. They hope to have a memorial in his name with the rare art in an Elkhart museum someday soon.